Sports brings you the fastest game on ice. Greetings, hockey fans, and welcome to exciting NHL playoff action. I'm Randy Hahn, alongside Drew Remenda, and tonight should be a classic battle of two teams trying to advance in this playoff series. Fed out from the corner. Now Aaron Ward over to Chara, and what a play. Price, Price makes the save, taking the shot to his body while in the splits. It's sent up the left side. And Montreal, breakaway chance. Here, goal. Here in game three, the visiting team has put the first one up on the board. What a way to get things started. On the replay, you can see what the goalie was up against, Randy. He was down in the butterfly, hoping the shot would be low, but gets beaten high. The skaters were coming in on him, and when the shot was released, there wasn't enough time for him to get to the puck. Price prepares to protect the left side of the goal. Now Hammerlick with it. Hammerlick is held against the board. Controlling it around back from the corner. Up the left side. Sent back to the point. To the middle. Here's Price. Saves the shot to the right side. Price freezes the puck. And we're going to start up action again. And Boston with it now in the attacking zone. Now at center right. Sturm misses just barely to the left. He makes a centering pass. The pass missed. Stewart has the puck. Oh, man, partner. Right now he's flatter than the Saskatchewan Prairie. Over to the point. Thomas. Stick save. In the splits, he pulls it off. Saved by Thomas. And Thomas decides he's going to hang on. Ward will be coming out as they switch up their defenseman. Thomas Placanitz ready now for the puck drop. Montreal count that one as a save. It's cleared back into the neutral zone. And now the Canadiens with it in their own zone. Markov held along the wall. And the puck's loose. Chara now. Ward holding him along the wall. Thomas stones the one-timer with a stick save. It's set up the left side. Now Koba's save. He gets his pad on it. In down low. He covers the puck. We'll have a faceoff. The Bruins get the chance to change up. They wanted to swap D-lines. Krejci always dangerous. And here's goal. They tie it up here in the first period as these teams go back and forth. Forget the goal. How about this pass, eh? Oh, baby, that was nice. It's one thing when you've got to pass around the defenders, but when you've got to include that vertical element, it's a different art form. Yes, indeed. Now Ferentz with it. Montreal forcing the play. Diagostini, it's loose. Kostitsin. Ryder skating with it now in his own zone. And now Boston with it across the blue line. Markov is held against the board. He's with the puck in the neutral zone. Giada over to Camilleri. A fine puck handler. But Thomas saves it. And now the Canadiens grab it in the offensive zone. Camilleri gets a bit of contact. They clear it out. 47 ticks left. Here's Gianna. Camilleri. Canadian swooping in. Placanitz now. Thomas. Save. The wrist are denied with great positioning there. And the Canadiens get the puck back. Center ice. And now the Bruins with it in their own zone. He deeks. 
Slap shot. We've got a tie game here after the first period. One to one. Yes, Randy. Hi, everybody. It's the 2K Sports Intermission Reports, and here we go. The Canadiens have had strong center play and have won the majority of the face-offs. That allows them to set up their offense and stick to their game plan, so their coach will certainly stress continuing that trend. Brian Gianta is a guy to keep an eye on looking ahead. He's tickled the twine once thus far and has threatened on a number of occasions. I like games like these. Every shift, every possession means something, and you better believe that those players know. It. All good things must come to an end, even this 2K Sports Intermission Report. If you're just joining us, it's a stalemate at one. <laughs> now, as the game gets back underway, once again, here's Randy and Drew. Okie dokie, ready to start things back up. Thanks, John. We'll hear from you again soon. The Canadiens know they have to continue to get scoring chances here, especially here in the second period. They know they can score. They know the opposition can score against them. We'll see how this second period gets going. Should be interesting. A deep move. And Latron dress now. It's hit out. Thomas. Save! He gloved the wrister. And Thomas will just hold on to that one. It's time for a quick update. Let's send it ringside with John Schrader. Right. Well, I just got back from a discussion with the head coach of the Bruins. It's neck and neck, he told me. At least we've managed to keep ourselves in the game. He admitted that it probably sounded a bit cliche, but said that it was all about the goaltending, and theirs hadn't been at its best yet. He's hoping that it will be soon. Now, back to the action on the ice. Okie dokie, John. The action continues. Here's Savard. It's cleared out of the zone. Spot check controls the puck on defense. It's sent up the left side. Now Boston's got it. He's got it over the blue line. Blocker save. Puck deflects away. Price covers up and freezes the puck. LaPierre in now. His team changing forward line. Here we go. The faceoff to the right of the goaltender. Montreal in their zone. And a stick save. Oh, what a great save this is. A point blank shot, that means zero reaction time. He's still got a chunk of it with the... And the save is made. And the goalie covers up to stop play. Hunwick will come in. His defensive line fresh off the bench. The skaters look ready in the circle. The Bruins win it. Hobus save. He got the left pad on it. Price covers the puck. Placanitz in now. His line in there as they get fresh forwards out on the ice. Price braces for the faceoff near his goal. And Bergeron. He scores! And they now have a one-goal lead here in the second period. Randy, take a look at the goalie's line of sight on this play. A defender was in the way, and I think it really obstructed the goalie's view of the play. He sure was, and the shooter was looking for the right time to pop one off and hit the window perfectly. Yeah, he did it with a great job of just camping out behind the screen until he saw the opening. Price will brace himself for the puck drop, which is to his right side. D'Agostini wins the faceoff and takes control. Save! He was able to stop a very tough shot there. It tipped off a player towards the goal. Wow! A deep move. Knocked out by Tim Thomas. And here's Thornton. Thornton controlled at center. He fires it up the right side to Beijing. Out of the corner. Now Metropolitan. Over to Kostitsin. 
Because thumbs off, Thomas sticking back out. Bejan now. The Bruins on top. Now Sean Thornton. Boston dumps it in. Taken away by Boston. In deep with the puck. And Montreal has the puck defensive zone. He misses the pass. And now the Bruins will try to bring it in again. Here's Bejan. The puck is hit up the left side. And Steve Bejan with it. Behind the net with the puck. He decides to center the puck. And now the Canadiens with it in their own zone. Canadiens, here we go. In the... Thomas. Let's check out that column replay to see if he was guilty of hooking. That was not subtle use of the stick there. Not at all. That'll give you two minutes of thinking time in the box. One goal game, Montreal trailing. Montreal power play. And Thomas Placanitz with it. We're left with a minute 59. Stoppage of play as the puck has left the confines of the ring. Oh, it looks like somebody's going home with a souvenir tonight, Randy. What a catch. The Canadiens are ready to start the power play here. Here comes the faceoff. They've got a one-man advantage. And now Boston in their zone. And now Boston's able to clear it out. Andre Markov. Georges freezes him against the board. And the penalty over. Five skaters on the ice for both clubs. And the Bruins try to regroup. A minute ten to go. Stolen by Montreal. Georges, he's been to the box once tonight. Over to Latondres. Latondres brings it past the blue line. Less than a minute to go in the period. Now Ferentz with it. And Randy, you want to take care of a scoring threat? Knock him down just like that guy did. He was flat. Savard's got it along the boards. And here's Ward. He blows the whistle for offside. Getting ready for the faceoff now, Scott Gomez. We're down to 22 seconds. And here's Markov. He deeks. Gomez now. LaRock. The puck is centered. It's picked off. And Kessel now. The Bruins need more firepower and are going to the extra attacker. The whistle was blown on the tripping call. Let's take another look. Oh, yeah, that was a trip. It's easy to see in slow motion the second time around. No question, Randy. You've got to admire the work of the officials out there to catch things as they are happening. Not an easy thing to do. Thanks, guys. It's the 2K Sports Intermission Report, Part 2. Twice as many stats to run through. We better get started. The Canadiens have at least one key stat that's right where they want it to be. Face-offs won. They've got the edge there, and any coach will tell you if they could pick one thing to be strong in, it'd be that. Chuck Kobasu gets the nod as our MVP thus far. He scored a goal and has looked good. It's been a well-played game up to now, and it's hard to handicap how things are going to play out. These teams have been fairly evenly matched. That'll just about do it on this 2K Sports and Emission Report. In case you missed it, Boston leads it 2-1. Okay, now let's get ready for the rest of the game. Back to Randy and Drew. Thanks, John. Great job, buddy. The Bruins coming back out onto the ice after the second intermission. They're in great shape with a one-goal lead as we get going with period three. They intercept the pass. Here's Placanitz. Metropolitan handles it. No good. Off the crossbar. Boston leading by one goal. The Bruins go on the power play second time tonight. Price, Price, again with an answer from the shot. They blow the whistle as he covers the puck. Placanitz now, and Brian Giano with it. Placanitz. Here's Placanitz. And Thomas Placanitz. Placanitz shot save. And Sturm now, and Boston over the line. Camilleri now, stolen by Boston, to the point. Now Aaron Ward, Bruins lost it. 
The Canadiens down one goal, looking to tie. Here's Krejci. Kostitsin will be part of the offensive line out on the ice for his team. Krejci's got it. Boston needs to get set up again. The puck is dumped in. Gill gains possession in the defensive zone. Latondres. Here's Chara. And here's Ryder. Krejci, the Canadiens, steal it. Taken across the blue line by the Canadiens. He centers the puck. His shot almost hit the left goal post. Save made. It bounces off the goalie. It's sent up the left side. Diagostini has it on the board. Oh, and it's turned away by the post. And Thomas decides he's going to hang on. The Bruins, they change on the fly. They're ready now for the puck drop. Takes control of the puck. And Montreal has a penalty coming up. The Bruins have the extra attacker now. The shot, Price, saved. Going low left side, nothing doing. The Bruins will take advantage as they bring in their power play line. Gets control of the puck in his own zone. And Montreal's got a chance to change lines. The pass is intercepted. Oh, rattle my bones all the way up here in the booth. I swear I felt that. Here, save. Oh, how quick is this guy, Randy? He didn't grab it, but was quick enough to get a piece of it with his glove. Chuck up another save. The referee gets set to drop the puck. And lots on dress now. The puck is free game. Ward. The puck doesn't get to the intended receiver. And Thornton now turned over by Montreal. The shot was wide left as it almost dinged the post. Now Montreal. Big chance for the Canadiens. Now Sean Thornton. Thornton dumps the puck. Beijing. Beijing holds him along the board. He deeks. And Ward now. We're left with a minute 59. The shoulder check knocks him down. Oh, this is a good hit. He took him out and he rattled him. The puck tipped up and out of play into the stand. Face-off coming up. Ready to get the action started. The Bruins get it. Ference has got it. He feeds it up the left side. Boy, you talked about flat. That's what he was. He got knocked down. It shot off the goalie, then up off the glass. Kostitsin is held against the boards. A minute 20 remaining. The puck is free game. Around back, over in the corner. He fires just left of the goal post. Misses. He's able to poke check it away. Ference has got it. Ryder, he's got one goal tonight. He brings it past the blue line. And now the Canadiens with it in their own zone. And he, Price, saves the wrist shot. It had to have smacked off the post. Hammerlick pins him up against the wall. The Canadiens, it goes in on the empty net. That's the risk you take when you pull your goalie. That pretty much seals this game. And getting ready for the face-off now, David Krejci. The clock shows 11. Montreal off the draw. Here's Camilleri. Just left of the goal post misses. And that's the end of this third period of play. The final score, 3-1. The Bruins played some great hockey tonight, Drew, walking away with the win, and they did it by two goals. We talked about how these guys were executing their game, and they were able to finish by a nice margin. How'd they do it, Drew? Well, Randy, they have to at least say that they deserve this hockey game. I mean, you look at the shot totals, and they had an advantage there. As a result, they won by a couple. Conference final, game three complete. We move on to game four, and we'll have it for you right here on the 2K Sports Network. With Drew Remenda, I'm Randy Hahn. For all of our crew, we'll see you next time.